Last week was marked by an increase of the smaller companies in the S&P 500 index. We'll reveal the winners and losers that drove 20% of the index performance and which companies will announce earnings next week. As usual, don't forget to subscribe to understand how individual stocks impact the S&P 500. Let's jump right into today's S&P saga. The S&P 500 closed the week at 5,634.61, up 1.4% from last week and adding $863 billion of market cap. The P ratio based on current price and the latest earnings stands at 29.44, up 0.42 points since last week. Let's go to your gainers. Nvidia is up 117.8 billion or 3.8% as investors accumulated shares ahead of earnings this week. Alphabet is up 33.1 billion or 1.6% on no specific news. Note that the company's Waymo robo-taxi service will reach 100,000 paid customers this week. Lily is up 29.1 billion or 3.3% as the company company's weightless drug Zepbound has been showing promising results on the treatment of diabetes. Berkshire Hathaway is up 19 billion or 2% on no specific news. Walmart was up 18.1 billion or 3.1% after the company sold its stake in JD.com. Moving to your losers, Microsoft is down 12.5 billion or 0.4% on no specific news. It is to be noted that the company will be hosting a cybersecurity summit following the disastrous CrowdStrike outage of the couple weeks. Intuit is down 9.4 billion or 5.2% on lower than expected guidance following its earnings results. Exxon is down 8.2 billion or 1.6% on no specific news. Micron is down 5.7 billion or 4.8% following a Wall Street analyst downgrade last week. Applied Materials down 4.3 billion or 2.5% on recent DOJ scrutiny. This week there were no changes announced to the S&P 500. Q2 2024 earnings season is almost done for the S&P constituents, with 14 members releasing results last week and 36 companies left to report earnings. 14 S&P 500 members will announce earnings during the week ending August 30th, 2024, and the most interesting will be Nvidia and Salesforce on August 28th. Which companies do you think will top the list next week and why? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe for our weekly updates. To find out why Apple and Nvidia jumped last week, you should watch this video next.